Over the weekend, actor Anthony Rapp accused Academy Award winning actor Kevin Spacey of sexual misconduct over 30 years ago. Now, the allegations come in an exclusive interview with BuzzFeed where Anthony Rapp claims that Kevin Spacey pretty much assaulted him at the age of 14 back in 1986. Now, he goes on Twitter to say, I came forward with my story standing on the shoulders of many courageous women and men who have been speaking out to shine a light and hopefully make a difference as they have done for me. He goes on to say everything I wanted to say about my experience is in that article on BuzzFeed and I have no further comment about it at this time. Really shocking stuff. Now, for the longest time there have been rumors of weird behavior with Kevin Spacey and with this, Kevin Spacey responded saying, I'm beyond horrified to hear this story, Spacey wrote on his Twitter. I honestly do not remember the encounter, it would have been 30 years ago, but if I did behave then as he describes, I owe him the sincerest apology for what would have been deeply inappropriate drunken behavior. And I'm sorry for the feelings he describes having carried with him all these years. Now, to give you context of the story, Anthony Rapp and Kevin Spacey were both actors in a Broadway show. Kevin Spacey had a party. Way to come out. Um, there's a thread that I uh, retweeted that basically talks about the stigma surrounding gay men for years mm -hmm. about being pedophiles. And so to <laughs> equate your, I'm speaking to Kevin Spacey who's definitely watching. So to equate your indecent behavior towards a 14 year old boy with your coming out announcement is so incredibly inappropriate and misguided and damaging to the LGBT community. It is so disrespectful. It's not, it's just, it's, there's a time and a place for you to come out and for the community to receive you and it's not now. Respond to the allegations at hand um, and, and, like, and address that and your indecent bad behavior before you have like this glorious coming out and all the headlines that are saying Kevin Spacey comes out like bullshit, that's not the headline here. Right. Kevin Spacey uh, acted inappropriately and made a move on a 14 year old, so, that's the headline. So I think we can definitely criticize the media for how they're trying to spin this. That said, I get his, his impulse to come out mm -hmm. on top of this. It's something that Hollywood and like the rumor mill has known for many years now. And what essentially happened is he got outed during this whole story. Right. So I get why he would bring that up, even if it's like in an inappropriate time to do it. It's a classic sort of misdirection. It's sort of a distraction where it's- It, it is a misdirection, but I don't think that was entirely the purpose behind it. Well, and it's not really- need, Like he yeah. needs to address it some way or another when, when, this, when this actor is like accusing him of this. And it's also- like, all right, the, the, it's out, I gotta, I gotta talk about it. Right, and, and another thing to, to recognize too is that the closet and someone who's been in the closet for years and years and years, there's a whole psychology behind right. that and it's sure. incredibly damaging and it's scary and uh, it's, it's a scary place and a weird space to be in and who knows what that does to someone's mind. And for Kevin Spacey to have been in there for so long, sure, we can an analyze that at a later date. But I was disappointed that he just didn't address these allegations head on and instead I did feel like it was a misdirection to be like, and I'm gay. Like, what? A lot of people felt that way, Grace. I loud and clear because it seemed like, first of all, this is borderline pedophilia, yes? Because Anthony yeah. Rapp was 14 100%. years old. It is, yes. yeah. So, okay, and um, instead of Kevin really giving a wholehearted apology and, and not even bringing up his sexuality, he, he, is kind of um, light about it. Well, um, Glad President Sarah Kate Ellis also said, coming out stories should not be used to deflect the allegations of sexual assault. This is not a coming out story about Kevin Spacey, but a story of survivorship by Anthony Rapp. I echo that 100% and all of those who bravely speak out against unwanted sexual advances. It does set the LGBT community back several years, especially gay men. Um, I, I, I'm glad Anthony Rapp did it in this did it and, and did it unapologetically because some people will, will probably have gone to their grave, especially someone as famous as Kevin, as Kevin Spacey. He's a he's a multi Academy Award winner. House of Cards is why is well was hugely successful on on Netflix. Now people are calling for that to be canceled. There's a series of tweets in regards to that. But like I said earlier, it's just sad that every day you turn on the TV, every day you, you go on your go on go online. There's one allegation. More people coming forward. It's just, it's, it's, this is becoming a pandemic now. I I, I feel. Do you think more allegations are going to come Absolutely. out about Kevin Spacey? Absolutely. And do you think this is going to lead to the pedophilia ring situation in Hollywood? I don't know, but I, I think that more people are going to come out. I already saw just before, like on my way to the studio today, someone was tweeting out uh, another clip from Family Guy about um, 
saying like Seth MacFarlane knew because you know it came yeah. out that Seth MacFarlane had made a joke about Harvey Weinstein. He had some idea, or at least he knew the rumor mill that was going around about his uh, indecent behavior and his like allegations of sexual assault on that end. And then there's this clip from Family Guy that's now circulating on Twitter that has Stewie running through like a mall saying like, help, I just escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement. That was also an amazing <sighs> Stewie impression. You're welcome, everybody. And so we, like, this is something that we've heard for a while. I, I like, had heard, you hear this stuff. Like, I knew that Kevin Spacey was gay years ago i thought this was sort of common knowledge that, that See, he came out I as sort of like what it was always grace that's funny because a lot of people are now saying that i mean i always suspected kevin spacey to be gay but i, but I also thought he was just super private about his personal life so now i mean I've i'm known, not shocked yeah, i've known since i saw american beauty and that came on like the 99s. late 90s and yeah. that's the rumors were around then mm -hmm. for like public consumption yeah, and his answer was always very, like, whenever he was asked about his sexuality, it was always very strange. And I don't know, I don't really want to make this a story and about I get Kevin that Spacey's sexuality because sure, I, sure. I don't like to conflate sexuality with pedophilia. It's, exactly. like, so different. Well, now people are saying or calling for the cancellation of House of Cards on Netflix. People have gone onto Twitter to say, I'm not watching House of Cards or any other Kevin Spacey thing he's ever done. Also, Andrew Wallenstein says, your move, Netflix, could the streaming service be forced to turn its back on the man who put the company on the map? So we will We'll see what's going to happen, but again, just, yeah, tragic, unfortunate, and just truly disgusting. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.